up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Ah, yes, the sweet science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue. Yeah. You decide you want to fight mixed martial arts. It's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab. It always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has an ability to switch stances from conventional to southpaw and land a great, counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, it's no? unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, the King! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 218 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Iron! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the finish takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. And he landed the right hand there. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this fall. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Under two minutes in the first round. Not there. Oh, 
Right idea, wrong execution. No good on the left punch count. 90 seconds now to go in this one. Huge block there. And they separate. Slips the punch. Straight punch land. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, connects with the one-two. Under a minute to go in the round. Glancing right hand lands up stairs. He just landed a nice left hook there, I, I feel. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Another punch to the head. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Second round here. Beautiful punch. Oh, that is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up with it. I mean, when you can hit a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk, you're tough. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. What a punch. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Circling towards the left now. Nice try. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Just misses there with the left. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Just missed with the left there. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Big punch lands through the middle. Just misses with the straight right. Big power shot there. 
Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you see in this fight. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Third round underway. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Ooh, what a punch. Ooh, blocks the shot. Up there. Oh! Superman punch lands! Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Misses with the left hook. That one snuck in. Nice right. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Connects with a right. Slips. Oh, he's right off the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the car. Oh, straight right. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Oh, he might be out. Circling towards the left now. Oh! Big punch land. Ooh. All right, he engages in a single column tie here. Really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC. And oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish this fight. Oh, my God. Oh. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Slips the shot. 20 seconds left. Punch over the top. 10 seconds. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish.
All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Good stick. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Beautiful straight right hand. Punch coming, it's blocked. Hands up. Oh, misses with the jab. Whoa! Back to the feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Huge right hand! Really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Strong defense there to block the shot. Just missing on the counter there. Great punch. Certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and punches. He's doing a great job. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Just out of range with that right hand. That's a big strike right there. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great time. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. It is the fifth and final round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and bring down big strikes in your point. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a 
way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Just out of range with that left hook. Right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, three seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, the king! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches 